Are you prepared for wildfires? Here are some recommendations and tips from the Alameda County General Services Agency, Office of Sustainability, and voluntary organizations active in disasters. With climate change, we have higher temperatures as well as snowmelt happening sooner. Both of these conditions combined result in a longer, drier season, which leads to more frequent and severe wildfires. Also due to dry conditions, what used to be a five-month fire season in 1970s is now seven months of fire season. This is now our new normal. We are seeing this happen year after year, and that is resulting in smoke events, fire risk, power shutoffs, and more for the Bay Area. Here's a map of the wildfire severity zone in Alameda County. As you can see, the East Bay Hills, the Central County, and areas in the Southeast section of the county have a very high wildfire severity. Factors such as fire likelihood, fire behavior, fire history, existing and potential fuel, terrain, weather, and more are used to classify the lands. So who is most vulnerable? To allow extra travel time, older adults and people with disabilities may consider evacuating during evacuation warnings or at any point that they feel unsafe. Never wait to be told to leave an unsafe situation. People living in older homes. Their homes may be more vulnerable to catching on fire due to flammable building materials. Low-income individuals may not have access to transportation, such as a car, to evacuate. And the unhoused are very susceptible to the impacts of wildfires. Their lives and belongings are at high risk. In the last 10 years, over half of the wildfires in the U.S. have been caused by humans. So how can you prepare and stay safe? Be very aware when burning debris, using electrical equipment, starting campfires, and lighting fireworks. Make sure to thoroughly put out any human started fires if it is safe to do so. Know how to exit each room in at least two ways in case you must evacuate. Install smoke detectors and make sure to change the batteries. Have a smoke detector in each bedroom and in the hallway outside the bedrooms. If you are a homeowner, create defensible space. This means reducing fire fuel. In zone zero, zero to five feet away from the house, use hardscape materials like gravel, which is not combustible. Remove dead brush and leaves from the gutters, roof, and deck. In zone one, five to 30 feet away from the house, and zone two, 30 to 100 feet away from the house, mow annual grass to a maximum of four inches, remove dead brush and leaves from the yard, and regularly trim trees and shrubs. Store combustible materials such as propane tanks and firewood at least 30 feet away from your home. And you can use your hose to spray water over your yard and roof if a fire is on the way and you have time. You can update your home with fire smart upgrades if possible. Build your roof with metal, clay, or tile instead of wood or shingles to reduce flammability. Cover vent openings with metal mesh to reduce openings for embers. Install dual paned windows to reduce the chance of glass breaking. Use ignition resistant building materials for house siding, such as stucco instead of wood products like panels or shingles and install a metal fence instead of a wooden fence. You can also consider your options for insurance. In fire-prone areas, residents not served by insurance companies can purchase from the California Fair Access to Insurance Requirement Plan, the FAIR plan. I have shared a lot of information, and now I will ask you a couple questions about some of the key facts you just heard. This will help you hold on to the most important key pieces of information. Pause the video after I read the options to think about your answer. Then press play again to hear the answer. First question, if you need extra time to evacuate, when should you leave? One, when you smell smoke. Two, whenever you feel unsafe. Or three, 
when someone knocks on your door? The answer is two, whenever you feel unsafe. Populations such as older adults or people with disabilities may need extra time to evacuate due to mobility. Last question, what causes over half of the wildfires in the US? One, human activities, two, lightning, or three, electrical system infrastructure? The answer is one, human activities. Make sure to put out any human started fires if it is safe to do so. And here are links to related wildfires and smoke resources. They will be linked in the description below. Thank you for watching our training and for everything you do to help make our community healthier and more resilient. To stay connected with us, sign up to become a member of VOAD and follow along with Alameda County at ready.acgov.org.